Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, my friends, welcome, friends of Japanese prints. I'm Dieter Wanshura, I'm the owner and manager of the Ortolino Company, and my little family company sells Japanese prints in weekly online auctions. And we produce these videos about Japanese prints, and today's subject is the naval battle of Danno Ura from 1185. Oh, wait a moment, you will probably say now, didn't you say your videos are about Japanese prints? You're right, yes, both is right. Japanese prints cover all aspects of life, of the culture of Japanese, of the history, of the Japanese theater, and well, my personal opinion is Japanese prints become much more fascinating and lively when you know the story that's behind an image. And this naval battle of Danoura is a quite frequent subject on ukiyo-e, on Japanese prints, especially on Japanese prints, let's say, from the second half of the 19th century. Well, back to our battle of Danaura. It was a decisive naval battle of the so-called Genpei Wars, and it ended with the defeat of the Taira clan by the Minamato clan, and it took place in 1185. Um, but let's take a little bit of a closer look at that background. Um, there was a fight over decades in the 12th uh, century between two powerful families, the Minamato, also called the Genji, and the Tara, also called Heike. Let's now not to confuse things too much, just call them Minamato and Tara. Um, the boss, um, the leader of the Minamato clan was Yoritomo Minamato, and he was the first shogun of Japan. He had actually ousted the, the emperor, had put him into a position of a purely representational figure and um, called himself shogun, something like the military leader, but he had the actual power and this system of shogunates should last until 1868. Yoritomo, the shogun, had a uh, a younger two brothers, and his youngest brother was Yoshitsune. And he was the military leader of the Minamato, and he was a brilliant military leader. In 1183, the Taira were forced to flee from Kyoto, um, capital for the emperor um, at, at that time, and they fled together with the six-year-old child emperor Antoku and his mother and his grandfather. Uh, and his grandmother. Uh, um, they retreated to a, a fortress uh, with the name of Ichinotani. And that fortress, you must imagine, that was located at the sea. On one side you had the sea, and on the other side uh, were, was a high, high cliff, and from the small stretches um, left and, and right, um, there was hardly any access that could be defended very, very well. So they felt very safe in Ichinotani. Um, yeah, and Yoritomo um, decided, okay, we must attack Ichinotani, and he sent uh, Yoshitsune, and Yoshitsune had a plan, uh, um, a daring plan. Um, he thought to attack he, and he did it, he attacked Ichinotani during a night raid uh, with just 150 horsemen. And these horsemen with their horses, they climbed down the steep, uh, the steep cliffs and the Tara were taken by surprise and they fled on their, their, their fleet, which was anchored um, the, uh, along the, the, the seashore and they had to, to flee uh, on the open sea and then um, made their way north. Um, the Minamato, they also um, deployed their fleet 
and chased the, the Tyra fleet and finally it came to a showdown in the Bay of Danohura, the last showdown of this Genpei War. 800 Minamato ships against 500 Tara ships. And now I have to explain a little bit how these naval um, battles were fought in the 12th century, um, not only in Japan in this way, also in, in, in Europe. There were no Kailans at that time, there were no guns, and a naval battle was um, basically first the attempt of attacking the enemy with bows and arrows, with hails of, of arrows, and then getting as near as possible and trying to enter the enemy ship, to board the enemy ship, and then it was a hand-to-hand -hand combat. It was basically then a, a, a land uh, battle. And this is how this uh, battle um, evolved. It went over several hours. The Tara um, had fewer ships, but they were better in, in navigation. It was important to take the tide and the wind uh, into consideration for, um, to be successful in such a naval uh, battle. And at the beginning, it looked like the Tara would get the, the upper hand. But then during the battle, one of the Tara commanders switched the sides during the battle. This is something that was not unusual during these Japanese medieval wars. Also later, 300 years later, during the Battle of Sekigahara, um, Iyazo uh, won and got the upper hand to establish the, the Edo period by um, making one of the enemy commanders to switch um, side. Anyway, um, the Minamato prevailed. The situation for the Tara were desperate and when they recognized it was all lost, um, many committed suicide. Among them um, was also the mother and the grandmother of the emperor child Antoku. The grandmother grabbed the, the, the child and they jumped into the sea. His mother she was saved by the enemy, um, pulled out by, by her long hair. Uh, many of the Tara generals were, fat, were wounded and committed suicide. The, the commanding general Tara of the Tara, Tomomori, he was fatally wounded and then he tied himself to an anchor and, and, and jumped into the sea. The legend goes that some Tara warriors could flee into the high mountains and establish hidden villages where they um, lived on for generations. Uh, you must know there's one specific in the Japanese culture about suicide. Uh, um, until our days, there's a saying, an honorable death is better than a life in shame. And, and often the loser in a battle uh, preferred to commit suicide than to hand himself over into the hands of the enemy. For Yoshitsune, um, there was a tragic end. Uh, I mean, he was the winner, he was the brilliant military leader, but um, over the course of the next two years, um, Yoritomo, became more and more jealous of his younger brother. And Yoritomo, he was a brutal, evil guy. Um, and he removed everybody uh, of whom he thought he might be a danger for his own rule. And Yoshitsune was forced to flee. He fled to the north. and But finally, they were encircled by the troops of um, Yoritomo, his, his brother, the shogun. And Yoshitsune um, decided to commit uh, suicide. He killed his own children and, and his wife and committed suicide. And um, during his last stand, he was only accompanied by his faithful comrade Benkei. And these two uh, characters, Yoshitsune and Benkei, they are very, very popular in Japan until our days. There are kabuki plays, there are films, there are even video games. Um, 
Well, so much um, about this battle of Danoura and Yoshitsune and his tragic end. And now I will show you a few of these Japanese prints with this subject. Um, there you see behind me um, one made by Kunitsuna Utagawa. It's from the middle of the 19th century. But okay, let's take a look at a few more. We have an article on our website, uh, Naval Battle of Danoura, where you can read this and where you can also view these um, selected images. All these images are from our archive of so Japanese prints. Okay, here you have an event that I did not mention. It's the famous leap over eight ships um, by Yoshitsune. Well, this is something we don't know if it's true or, or if it's a legend. During the battle, uh, the uh, Tyra enemy ships came close to his and he had to jump off the ship, but not into the sea because that would have been his end. So um, other ships of the Minamato clan came near and he jumped um, to another one and from there uh, the enemy followed. So he jumped over eight ships, according to the legend. And this shows the scene, yeah. Um, there you see Yoshitsune is always recognized by this odd helm concoction. And well, there the enemy chasing him. And there you see a, a hail of, of arrows. So the famous jump over eight boats Frequent subject on Japanese prints. Uh, let's take a look at another one. Yeah, this is a, a, a typical naval Japanese naval battle um, ship, 12th century. We can roughly imagine it a little bit like that. Um, the print was made in the 19th century. And let's take, okay, well, this is this tragic commander of the Tara fleet who tied this anchor around his, his neck and jumped into the sea, also frequently to be seen on Japanese prints. And last but not least, this is um, um, one of the Tyra, um, I think, commanders, yeah. And he plays the flute before he jumps into the sea and commits suicide. This is a print by the famous Meiji artist Yoshitoshi Tsukyoko or Yoshitoshi Taira. Well, long video today, the Battle of Danaura and, well, the display on Japanese prints. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like our videos, I hope to see you for our next one. Until then, have a good week and take care of yourself. Goodbye.